If you've had any problems with SunPass, you are not the only one. Turns out Florida's airports, including Tampa International, have also had their share of headaches with the company behind the toll system. In fact, as 10 News reporter Eric Glasser shows you, things got so bad at one point, the airport even considered pulling the plug on SunPass altogether. Oh, it takes a few minutes. It's a hassle. Passengers at Tampa International Airport have more than a few stories when it comes to using the SunPass system. Sometimes it's slow or sometimes it doesn't work. Already infamous for a billing boondoggle that's lasted more than a year, the company behind SunPass, Conduent, hasn't been making many new friends at Florida's airports either. That was not a very good customer experience and that's not what we're about. TPA's airport director Joe Pagano says that the SunPass system, designed to make parking an easy in, easy out experience, has instead led to headaches. So we have to work with these vendors to make sure they have their game at the same level as we do. Airport officials say they share individual customers' frustrations. At one point, ready to pull the plug on SunPass until they could get the system to run more reliably. Even sitting on hold like the rest of us for more than an hour, waiting for answers a few weeks back. Basically, it was a computer server problem, the way I understand it. And so the, the way those things come to your attention is when people start backing up on the roadways. Another challenge with SunPass is that it registers the time of arrival, but there's no printed receipt. With no no hard ticket. It's not as simple as just driving to another line and paying with cash or charge. I don't know how they would know, but I know like when I have a problem and there's an attendant standing there and they see I'm having a problem, they say, hey, what's going on? Yeah, I have seen it before, but we, we just went through. Airport officials say fortunately over the last few weeks they haven't had any major problems and the conduit has told them that they're working on a more reliable server system that would separate out airport tolls from others. That idea could take several more months to implement. In the meantime, frustration is mounting with the beleaguered automated tolling system and not just for individual customers. That's not acceptable for Tampa International Airport. That's not the way we operate. People don't expect to have hassles at this airport and we won't allow it. So we have to work with the vendor to fix these problems. Certainly can be frustrating in a statement coming to Florida Department of Transportation speaking on behalf of SunPass. It says it understands the frustration experienced by customers during the implementation of upgrades to the system, but did not explain why there are so many issues. For more than a month, 10 Investigates has asked FDOT how much customers owe the state in unpaid tolls from the backlog. Tonight, they still don't have those numbers. We're told Conduent, the company behind that backlog, and Florida Turnpike are working on getting numbers for us. They can't say why it's taking more than a month to gather them. The Hillsborough Expressway Authority provided the amount the same day we requested it.